I'm Mick Alberts. This is video 5 of the Create a Picture Viewer in C-Sharp video. If you haven't seen the first four videos, consider watching those before you watch this one. In this video, you'll learn about methods and statements and how to add comments to code. First, I want to review a few things before I go on. When I double-clicked the Show a Picture button in Windows Forms Designer, the IDE automatically added a method to the code. Most of the time, a method does a small number of things in a specific order, like how the Show button click method shows a dialog box and then loads a picture. A method is made up of statements. When a method is executed or called, the statements in the method are executed in order. Statements in Visual C-Sharp always end in a semicolon. Now I want to add a comment to the code. A comment is a note that doesn't change the way the program behaves. It makes it easier for someone to understand what the code does. In Visual C-Sharp, two forward slashes mark a line as a comment. I'm just going to add a comment that tells what this code does. I have it on my clipboard, so I can just paste it in. Here's what that comment looks like. Notice the forward slashes. Now I'm going to paste four more methods into the code. I'll paste the code in over the corresponding empty button click and checkbox check changed methods that are already in the code. You can paste the code in if you like by going to the print version of this topic on the MSDN website. The topic is called Step 10, Create Additional Buttons and a Checkbox but you'll learn more if you type the code and use IntelliSense rather than pasting it in. I'll just briefly explain what these methods do. This first method clears the picture when a user clicks the Clear the Picture button by setting the picture box image property to null. Notice that here and in the other methods I've added a comment to explain what the code does. This is always a best practice. This method opens the color dialog box when the user clicks Set the Background Color, and, if the user clicks OK, changes the picture box control's background to the color that the user chooses. This method simply closes the form if the user clicks the Close button. And this last method changes the Size Mode property when the Stretch checkbox is clicked or cleared. This specifies what happens when the form is resized. Now the program is finished and ready to run. I'm going to run it by clicking the Start Debugging Toolbar button, and I'm going to set the background color. Notice how when I click Set the Background Color, the Color dialog box opens, and I'll pick this color. Now I'm going to load a picture that is partly transparent, so that I can see the background color through it. And there's my picture. Now I'll test the Clear the Picture button. And that works. And I'll close the program by clicking the Close button. To learn more, you can try improving the program by doing some of the following. Change the color of the form and the buttons by using the Back Color property. Customize the buttons and checkbox by using the Font and Four Color properties. Change the form's form border style and control box properties. Use the form's accept button and cancel button properties so that buttons are automatically clicked when a user presses the enter or escape key. Make the program open the open file dialog box when the user presses enter and close the box when the user presses escape. This concludes this getting started tutorial. To see the print version of this tutorial and other tutorials, search for Getting Started Tutorials on the MSDN website. <laughs>